Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com daily analysis for gold for Thursday, August the 19th, 2010. Well, a continuation of the trend to the upside and uh, we have a candle with a uh, another green body. Uh, the green body denotes the buyers uh, uh, showing uh, some net bullish progress between the open and the close. And... Uh, a decent amount you know, when looked at in consideration of the last three candles, uh, certainly the equal of the previous candle and larger than the uh, size of the body of the candle before that. Um, the high of the current candle has um, certainly extended the uh, trending action here. It's certainly a fair way above the uh, previous high and the close is certainly above the previous close showing the uh, buyers to be keen. Uh, one small worry for the bulls here is that we have the market um, showing a, a small amount of downside price rejection as evidenced by the shadow on the top of the body of the candle and the market only just trading uh, or fa or closing just up above the midpoint level of the range. That's the distance between the high and the low. Closing around the midpoint level means that uh, neither side took control of this market. So uh, we've closed just up above there and that shows that um, uh, the buyers have control of this market, but it's fairly weak control um, when the market closed. And the shadow on the top, uh, with the market opening up near the low and closing around the uh, midpoint level, uh, tells us that the buyers lost some of the commitment that they uh, that they built up throughout the day. So that um, offers potential for um, a, a, a change of trend, certainly not a high potential, um, but um, there is uh, some potential there and it shows that the uh, buyers have shown a slight amount of weakness in this market throughout the trading day. Having said that though, we do have this nice size green body and uh, we do have the market making a series of higher highs and higher lows. One other cause for concern, and we normally look at this with bar charts, is that we have... Uh, contraction in the range of this uh, market so that, that's the distance between the high and the low and compared to the previous range it's contracted to about half the size roughly of the previous range and that tells us that the buyers aren't as eager as they were so that may add some weight to a uh, potential uh, change of trend. Now uh, the market is uh, and attempt, it attempted to trade up to around this 1240 region and we can see here previously that as the market attempted to trade, trade around this level that there was downside price rejection and the market sold off. So that's perhaps the influence that we've seen here with this shadow that now that the market is trading up within this area we could see selling anywhere within this area all the way up to around the 1265 level. So we don't have strong evidence of that yet but there is potential for that. Now if the market does come off this 1227 region where we had previous uh, resistance and uh, previous support will offer fairly strong support to this market. So if we do uh, look for there to be a potential lower high and lower low, that's an area that we would look for the market to hold up at. If that fails to hold, then uh, there is potential support down around the cloud and this uh, low here around 1218 down to 1214. Now interestingly, if the market does come off, it will be interacting with a fairly thin cloud. And that means that the level of potential uh, support here is quite thin. So if we have some decent bearishness in this market, then there is a chance that the market can trade through there substantially and uh, test the support offered around the Kijun Sen, around 11.96, and then certainly down around these lows, around 11.91 down to 11.89 so around this 11.90 region there is a fairly strong support and there is a possibility that that could be tested if the market trades down through the cloud. Now the market is still bullish in overall um, Ichimoku terms. We are trading up above the cloud which means that we have an overall positive bias and the market is trading above the Kijun Sen which means that we has, have a bullish market in the medium term time frame and trading up above the Tenkan Sen, which means that we have a bullish market in the fast-term time frame. Now, both of those indicators are pointing up fairly sharply, and that's reflecting this strong upside momentum that the market has built up. Now, in overall terms, looking at how the uh, 
the market is trading it it's not really looking overextended away from the from the cloud it's still quite close to the cloud and not looking too overextended away from the tenkan sen so there aren't too many worries there but with regard to the kitchen sen it is looking a little bit overextended so uh we should watch that if that tenkan sen turns flat there may be a possibility that the price action will be attracted back towards there but i think we need to remember that we are in a recovery from a decent downtrend and it's unlikely that the uh, that the Kijinsen would recover uh, back towards the uh, um, price action uh, fairly quickly when we are in this recovery mode. So uh, um, uh, highly unlikely that we would uh, uh, retrace back there quickly. Having said that, though, as we mentioned before, there is a possibility that if we do see some decent bearishness, then the market may certainly retrace back to those levels. So... Uh, Certainly the high of the current candle and around the 1240 region is important for the market over the next day for the market to potentially test the, around the 1265-66 region and certainly at the low of the current candle in this 1227 area for a potential sell-off and lower high and lower low.